Faith Ivy Nicole Atkins. Hey, my name is Faith Atkins and I'm a class of 2020 honor graduate. I always thought my school would be a breeze and that I wouldn't face any challenges. However, after being so dedicated for the first two and a half years of high school, I was tired of it. I gave up. But my teachers never gave up on me. And I have a few teachers to thank for always encouraging me and helping me with my grades to maintain close to the same averages as I, I had always kept, like Ms. Kelly, Ms. Davis, and Mr. Garland. But this teacher always stood out to me. He took the time to talk to me and he understood why I barely came to school. He let me know that I could do better than what I was doing and eventually I listened. This teacher is Mr. Lasada and I cannot thank him enough for all the ways he helped me during my time at Worth County High. Taylor J. Atkins. I chose Miss Young to give my golden apple to. During school, I was pregnant, and after I had my baby, Miss Young was my hospital homebound teacher. She really helped me throughout the year and pushed me to do my best. She helped me succeed even though I couldn't be at school. She's a great teacher and she deserves this award. Thank you for helping me graduate. Megan Leanne Avery. I decided to give my golden apple to Miss Kelly because she has been the best, best mentor for me the last four years. She did not just want me to sit in her class, but she also wanted me to sit in my college classes and as a DECA member. She got me involved in DECA in my first year, and it was the best thing I ever did in high school. She then got me started on competing with DECA. I always remember her trying to get me to be the best. She did everything she could to help me when I needed it most. She also cared about me when I was going through tough times. She was more than just a good teacher. She never minded going beyond that title. She truly cares about her students, even beyond the classroom. That is why so many students love her, including me. I want to thank Ms. Kelly for everything she's done for me the last four years, and I know she will always be supporting me through the rest of my journey. I will always remember Ms. Kelly, and I will come back and visit as much as I can. Morgan Danielle Bird. Miss Kate is an extraordinary teacher. She has advice that she dearly helps. She is very understanding if someone is having troubles. She will always be there to rescue whoever is in need. The word no wasn't in her vocabulary. She was always willing to help in any way. She was always respectful and understanding. She has done many respectful things that I could not bring myself to do. She rallied through everything and always stayed very focused on her job in school. She cared more about her students than herself. She is the reason I have my diploma with honors. She always came to work with a smile and kind words. I believe if everyone would listen to her words in sincerity, they would push to be better. Her words just have that effect on people. Ms. Pate is a, real, is a brilliant teacher and an amazing woman. She is the woman I strive to be one day. I would like to give a big thanks to her for everything she has done for my education as well as me personally. Sarah Abigail Brooks. I have chosen to award my golden apple to Kelly McDougall. Mr. McDougall was my seventh grade science teacher and has went on to teach in Thomasville. He was my first teacher to truly make me feel like I could do anything I set my mind to. Although my dream at that time was microbiology, I have taken his influence with me in pursuit of a business degree. He treated me as his own daughter and deserves much more than just this award. Thank you, Mr. McDougall. Kanaya to Shay Bryant. Greetings, everyone. First and foremost, I want to congratulate Class of 2020 for achieving your first milestone as we enter the next phase of our lives. To my former teachers, I appreciate you for your guidance that has led me to doors that were open for me, and even imparting the ability to seek and open more doors on my own authority. Although there have been many educators who have inspired me, it is an honor to present my golden apple to Ms. Melissa Folsom. 
When I reminisce back on my early days as your student, I feel tremendously grateful for the sacrifices you have made to teach me to the best of your ability. Since day one, you have truly placed great emphasis on instilling knowledge that will last a lifetime. While in your classroom, you maintain a consistent, stimulating learning atmosphere that has shaped me socially and intellectually. As your student, you have shown me the path to success and walked me along the way. I appreciate your high expectation as it has positively shaped my self-confidence. Overall, it was your dedication and determination that has allowed me to pursue my ambitions not only academically, but in life itself. Thank you for opening my eyes to new stages of opportunity and strength. I will forever be grateful for your guidance and inspiration. <laughs> Gabriel James Berger. I want to start by saying I'm give, going to give my going out for Miss Kelly. Miss Kelly has been here for me as a teacher since my ninth grade year. She has always done everything I asked of her, even if it wasn't her place. And she never took back for an answer. Ms. Kelly has not only been here for me as a teacher, but also as a friend. She always, she was always there for me when you just needed to talk or just to blow off some steam. <coughs> Ms. Kelly would never know how much you mean to me. Uh, I'll never be, never be able to repay you for all you've done for me, but I do truly appreciate everything. I always said, when it's time for me to graduate and people give you their golden apple, I'll give you a real one because I never thought I would be able to be on this list. I'm honored to be able to give you this golden apple because you are the one that made me realize that I was capable of being an undergraduate. Madison Lee Berger. I have chosen to award my golden apple to one of my favorite teachers, Ms. Lisa Lawson. She's always been one of my favorite teachers due to her amazing teaching ability. She was always helping her students in any way possible. Ms. Lawson has always been a great role model for her students. Thank you, Ms. Lawson, for being such an inspiration for me throughout the years. It was an honor to be your student. Shelby Lynn Carter. My name is Shelby Carter and I give my award to Ms. Stacy Weaver for always encouraging me to do my best with a never accept failure. Bailey Andrew Coker. I chose to give my golden apple to Miss Kelly because she is the person that I could always come to if I needed something. She is the perfect example of what a teacher should be. She pushed me to do my best, and if I needed help with something, she was there without hesitation. She was there for me from the start of high school until even now. She cares so much about her students and will do anything in her power to help. Thank you, Miss Kelly, for all you have done for me over the past four years. You made my high school living experience worthwhile. Chloe Colette Cook. To all the teachers, librarians, administration, and other school staff, including our lunch ladies and janitors, thank you for the impact you have made on me as a student. Today, I would like to give a special thank you to my Golden Apple recipient, Ms. Carey. Ms. Carey was my tag teacher in starting in primary school and continued through to the third grade. Any day that I had Ms. Carey's class, I was beyond excited to go to school. In her classroom, learning wasn't a task, but something enjoyable. I will always remember analogies, treasure map storm, our paintings, and the monarch butterflies. Miss Carey, thank you for always believing in my abilities, even as a child. You will never fully understand the impression you make on me. You helped me to create a love of learning that I have always carried with me and hope to continue to carry with me through the rest of my life. Laura Jovet Coxwell. Mr. Altavaz, I chose you because of how much you inspired me. You were the one who taught me to love language and to always be patient. You opened my eyes to the world and taught me that other cultures and languages can be very confusing, but that they are always worth learning about. 
You inspired me to learn a language that was poor was nothing but a bunch of gibberish to me. You gave students pluses and encouraged us to try again when we got something wrong. Some of my best memories were made in your class, from reading my very first dialogue to learning about the Spanish cow, Muy. When we moved to the new school, I missed the crazy decor of your classroom, from the wall decorations to the colorful pinatas that used to hang from your ceiling. And although the day four of your classroom changed, your spirit did not. You always oozed excitement and made students eager to learn. You took extra time to learn our names and faces. You would greet us in the hallway and make our day just a little bit brighter. You joked in the classroom and you gave respect when you got respect. You didn't treat us like a number. You learned the whole person. And that extra effort is why today many people still remember you as the now not so bold, bald, crazy Frenchman of Worth County High School. Please don't ever stop spelling online on dash line or change the design of your whiteboard. And please also don't think that students don't notice every little extra effort you put in. Thank you so much for everything. Alyssa Danae Kraft. The educator and coach I want to present my golden apple to is Ms. Sandy Bozeman. Through seeing her in the halls to her coaching soccer and basketball, she was always encouraged me to be better in all that I was doing. She showed me that the qualities of being a better athlete and teammate are the same qualities to being a better person and friend. She was always able to make me smile and laugh and put me in a better mood. Thank you for always being a positive light and for your support and faith in me through the years. Carly Melissa Davis. I am giving my golden apple to Miss Tammy Holton. I've chosen her because she has truly held me and my classmates to the same standard. Even though I got in her class early, she didn't let me slack off at all. Without her, I wouldn't be the person I am today. She truly showed me how to be a great person and work hard for what I want to do and where I need to get. Jackson Elias Fletcher. The teacher I chose for the Golden Apple Award is Miss Kelly. Miss, Miss Kelly, I've chosen you for the Golden Apple Award for many reasons. You have always brought an amazing attitude to school and was able to brighten up any day. You didn't teach your students because it was your job, but you did it because you actually loved to teach your students and cared for them. You have always been there for support. If I had any problems, I knew, I, I knew that I could go to you and you would help me as soon as you could. Also, not only did you care if I finished my work in, in your class, you made sure I was on top of my college assignments. You pushed me to succeed in all my classes and I honestly believe that I wouldn't be an honor student if it wasn't for you. There were times that I felt like giving up on my college work because it was so stressful, but you were there to help me push through the stress and become the, success, the successful student I am now. Thank you, Ms. Kelly, for everything that you've done for me and inspiring me to be successful in life.
Alexis Morgan Hall. I chose Colonel Colley because he has influenced me to become a better person. He has done so much for me in the past two years that he has been here. He is a leader, a motivator, a person that will help anyone to move in the right direction. He is one of the most amazing people that I know. He does everything that he can for his cadets, both in and out of school. No matter what, I could always count on him to help me through any problem or challenge that I face. His ideals, leadership, and advice have helped me to grow in so many ways. He has helped me to realize who I was and what I wanted to do with my life. He showed me what true leadership was supposed to look like. My hopes are to one day become a leader like him. We had many laughs and fun times in the class. He really made the class enjoyable and something to look forward to every day at school. He has become like a father to me, and I am so very thankful for the chance to have been taught by one of the greatest instructors that I've ever met. For all of those reasons and many more, I thank you, Colonel. Rayleigh Joe Hancock. I have chosen to award my golden apple to Mr. Ada Takes Spanish 1 and 2 my senior year, and Mr. A did everything he could to make sure I did what I had to do to not only understand his work, but to pass. Thank you for not only teaching me the standards, but real life lessons. It means more than you will ever know. You are a true inspiration, and I'm so proud to have been one of your students. Also, love you, Stos, and y'all. Reese Patrick Hancock. I have chosen to give my Golden Apple Award to Ms. Melissa Folsom. I had the opportunity to have Ms. Folsom not for math, not only in the fourth grade, but in the fifth grade as well. One thing that I remember specifically about her is how well she connected with her students and also how great of a teacher she was. She knew just how to make things as simple as possible, and I still use those things that she taught me seven years later. I'll always be grateful for Ms. Folsom's impact on my education, and I have no doubt that our students in the future will feel the same. John Webster O'Quinn Hardin. I'd like to give my golden apple to Jimbo Houston. He's been a very impactful teacher in my time at Worth County. He's taught me a lot of things of School can be fun, that you can make the best out of anything, and to always push for a successful career. He's taught me the values of hard work, dedication, and most of all, leadership. And I'd like to carry that on into my time into the Navy as I leave from high school and carry on my career. And I'd like to take all those things I learned from him and apply those in, to this in my life. Cassandra Nicole Hernandez. My name is Cassandra Hernandez, and I choose to give my note and apple to Dr. Powell because she is an amazing, sweet teacher who cares so much about her students. And because of her, I learned to always do my work and get things done on time to succeed in life because you don't want to do things so late. So you can always have everything done on time and all her students would know that she is a one sweet caring teacher who will always be there for anyone and cares so much. I think that because of her, she can give me the ability to do whatever I can in life and learn new great things. And I'm so glad I had her as my 11th grade English teacher because without her, I wouldn't be an undergraduate student. So thank you, Dr. Powell. Benaja Markel Hicks. 
I'll never forget how intimidated I was during my freshman year at band camp, or even more so my first year on the line by the man with the shades. From my percussion instructor to my social studies teacher for three years, Mr. Miller has made a huge impact on not only my high school career, but my life. The only reason I even took a push was so that I could have Mr. Miller as a teacher. It was not my intention to stay originally, but throughout my four years of knowing him, they've been full of laughs, long bus rides, valuable life lessons, and unforgettable memories. He's always pushed me, sometimes to my dismay, and showed me that I'm better than I had ever thought I was. He took extra time from his personal life to make sure that the drum line was exactly where it needed to be. He always went above and beyond for his students and inspired me that, that a little extra work can make a huge difference. I would not be the person I am today if I never met Mr. Miller, and I can't thank him enough for that. This is why I chose Mr. Miller as my golden Apple recipient. Again, thank you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Trenton Riley Johnson. I would like to give my golden Apple award to Mrs. Melissa Kelly. Through her continuous motivation and faith in my abilities, she pushed me to achieve an honor graduate status. For that, I thank you. Cody Sanders Jones. The educator that I chose always kept a smile on my face and took the time to make sure I was learning. This educator was there for me and gave me great advice for the future. This person inspired me to succeed, and I wouldn't trade our relationship for anything. With that being said, I would like to give my golden apple to Ms. Ken Farron. Rebecca Tanya Jordan. Full athletics is more than a game. The field of play also becomes a classroom for life skills. It is not only a place where players shine, but also a place where the teaching ability of the coaches is on full display. Coach Mitchell, I played softball for you sixth through eighth grade. In sixth grade, I was very shy and wasn't confident in myself. You told me that if I wanted to be better, I had to be confident in myself and not fear mistakes because they are a part of life. You taught me that all I have to do is set my mind to any goal and I can achieve it to always keep my head up no matter the circumstances around me, to constantly evaluate myself and make corrections when needed, to perform in an ever-changing environment and to not see failures or opportunities. You played a big role in my life. Over the course of our lives, we will invest in many things, such as a home, a car, our careers, and our families, but I'm very grateful for the time that you invested in me. Madison Nicole Justice. In my 12 years of school, there was one teacher that touched me more than others. I was honored to have this kind of teacher in Miss Hendricks. Some of the reasons I believe that she should have this award are her encouraging words, dedicated teaching, and influencing actions. She cared for all of her students like we were her own, and I always felt that I could talk to her about anything. She would always push us to succeed, and I was lucky to have a teacher like this. Thank you for everything that you did, Miss Andrews. Kason Clay King. I chose Miss Kelly to give my golden apple to because she has inspired me to succeed the most. She has been my teacher for three years at Ward County High School and not only has helped me with her class, but whenever I need to help, including other classes. She is a great teacher and always has a good attitude. She always pushed me to do my best and not settle for a lower grade. She also always finds time to help me even when she's busy and is a very selfless person. Sarah Gabrielle Kirkus. Mr. Miller's AP US History class is one of my favorite classes that I've taken at Worth County. He made his whole class laugh constantly and cared about all of his students. He pushed everyone to do their best and accepted nothing but the best. He cared about all of us and his love and dedication to education and his students are why I've chosen Mr. Miller to receive the Golden Apple. Emily Caitlin Luke. I have the honor to award one teacher that has had the greatest impact on my life with a golden apple. 
Music has played a major role in my life for many years. I would like to honor Ms. Michelle Hutchinson with my golden apple. Ms. Hutchinson, for the past four years, you have been my mentor. You are the one person that I go to when I need guidance. You have always been there for me when I needed you most. Not only have you taught me music, you have taught me many life skills, like how to be a leader. You helped me step out of my comfort zone and face my fears. Most of all, you have helped me grow and mature into the woman I am today. Thank you for leading me and reminding me that with God, all things are possible and for investing your time teaching and preparing me for what my life may hold. I want you to know how grateful I am to have you in my life. Thank you for all that you have done for me. Emma Nicole Lynn. To start, I would like to say thank you so much to all of the teachers I've ever had. And I can honestly say that any teacher I ever had has made some type of impact on me, whether it was personally or just teaching me a life lesson. I appreciate anyone that was willing to put up with my loud mouth in class. But to get to the point, I would like to officially give my Golden Apple Award to Mr. Chad Payne. Mr. Pate was my fifth grade writing teacher. I have to say he was probably one of the best I ever had, but I can honestly say that things that he taught me are still being used today. When I started my fifth grade year, I absolutely hated reading books. Anytime I got a book from the library, I skimmed the pages enough to take the AR test and moved on. Well, Mr. Pate, being the observant teacher he was, noticed this and refused to accept my laziness and buckled down on me. He told me that I could not take the AR test or get a new book until I sat down and actually read the entire thing. So I had no other choice but to read it. Therefore, I ended up actually enjoying the book, which led to my lifelong love for reading. While Mr. Pate was not always one of the most affectionate teachers, he showed me that he cared in other ways, such as never accepting anything less than what he knew that you could do. Even if it meant staying in from playing cheerleader with my friends or losing five minutes of specials because I didn't finish my creative writing for the day. When the end of the year rolled around, the big writing test that everyone so desperately dreaded was finally here. On the day of the test, as all of the students were nervously writing while Mr. Pate quietly walked around observing us. At the end of the day, he made an announcement to the class about one mistake that most of his students made. This mistake was forgetting to write the thesis statement. When he said this, I immediately busted into tears and told my mom when I got home that I would fail the fifth grade all over a thesis statement. I now have realized his intentions were not to upset us, but to make sure we never forget to write a thesis statement. Needless to say, I still have not forgotten about the thesis statement or the transition words that were all over his wall in the classroom. Thank you, Mr. Pate. My writing skills would have never developed without your dedication to making the best writers you could. All in all, I will never forget all the skills you have taught me. I'm not sure if you know, but I will be attending Madassa State in the fall pursuing a teaching degree. My hope is to become even half of the teacher you were to me. Thank you for your dedication and never give up on inventing a sweet part. Samaya Lataje Marshall. I have chosen to award my golden apple to Ms. Carol Wilson. I chose her because she was one of the few teachers who showed she could care about her students beyond their schoolwork. She has always been a teacher I could never forget about. I wasn't always a star student, but she will always remind me I could be just that and more. I thank, I thank you for everything you've ever done for me. It means more than you will ever know, and I am proud to award you with my golden apple and to have been one of your students. Austin Tyler Martin. Hi, I've chosen Mr. Josh Miller as my golden apple because he has inspired me to be the most productive and motivated person, both in March Band and in Light. Mr. Miller began teaching me very valuable life lessons from my freshman year as my drum instructor and later as my economics teacher. My freshman year, I joined Drum One. I remember my first impression of Mr. Miller. It was that he was very strict and in depth with the way he taught. And later in the season, uh, as it progressed, I discovered that Mr. Miller had a humorous side, and he would always tell funny jokes on long, on long bus rides, after games, and also on competitions. Mr. Miller always teaches above the standards when it comes to percussion in his economics class. 
and in his economics class in order to prepare his students for success beyond high school. Mr. Miller has inspired me to go get a degree in music education so I can teach future professionals the skills necessary to become successful musicians and pass along the valuable insight that Mr. Miller has taught me in my high school career. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Kayla Bell Martin. As my journey through school began and throughout the many years, I noticed how important the teachers that came into my life would impact me in such an amazing and rewarding way. Each teacher that has taught me or educated me will forever hold a special place in my heart. One wonderful lady in particular has inspired me and touched my heart greatly. She is such a strong woman, so dedicated and so determined. It would be my honor to present my Golden Apple Award to Miss Melissa Kelly. Miss Kelly, you have been there from the very beginning of my high school career. You have been my business teacher, Becca advisor, and my mentor at the Rand Central Store. You have helped shape me into the person that I am today. And you've always motivated me to do the best at whatever I put my mind to. When I first joined Decca in freshman year, I never knew it would bless me with the best family I could ever have. We never had a dull moment on a Decca trip anywhere, from bopping it with Bob, to eating chips and salsa, playing Uno, and laughing for hours in the hallway way past our curfew. Thank you for being such a great influence and always staying positive. Thank you for being such a huge inspiration in my life and for always being there when we needed your encouragement the most. Thank you for being so dedicated to each student that you have taught and have all the love and care that you treat us with. And most of all, thank you for the many memories that I will cherish for the rest of my life. I love you, Ms. Kelly. Bethany Rose Owens. Hi, my name is Bethany Owens, an honor graduate from Worth County High School. The person I chose to receive my golden apple is Kelly McDougall. Mr. McDougall was my seventh grade life science teacher. Mr. McDougall was so much more than just a science teacher to his students. He was a friend, a mentor, and anything you needed him to be. He welcomed all of his students with open arms. Mr. McDougall helped me discover my love for science. Though if you were to ask him about me, he'd probably tell you I was the one that finished every assignment in five minutes, even if it was supposed to last three days. He'd also tell you that I was the one who had a nickname for him, a new nickname for him every day. Mr. McDougall strived to make his class fun while learning. He was close to each of his students and was always, always made sure we were all on the same track. Not only was his life science class that inspired me, but his patriotism for our country. He showed us the importance and reasoning behind every standing hand and the heart and hand on the heart during the national anthem. Mr. Matt Diggle was one of the most inspiring teachers I've had over the years. Grace Nicole Palmer. I would like to award Nancy Burrow with the Golden Apple Award. This award is given to a teacher of your choice that has inspired you to succeed. I have had many people push me to do the best, but Miss Nancy made the biggest impact. She was never a teacher of mine, but she was my cheer coach. She was also by my side pushing me throughout my high school years. She made sure that I did my best whenever I stepped on that cheer mat, but she also made sure that I was doing good at school. She made sure that I was on top of applying to colleges, and she helped me in any way she could. Throughout my high school years, 
I knew that if I needed anyone to lean on, it would be her. Nancy has always been there for me, even if I felt like no one else was. I, was ne I will never forget the pet talk she gave me when I felt like I couldn't do something. She was more than a teacher to me. She was a friend and a mentor. I am so thankful for all that she has done for me and any student is looking to have her. She deserves this award more than anyone. Hina K. Patel. Throughout my high school journey, I met a kind-hearted, loving and caring educator who treated me as their own and pushed me to become an independent lady I am today. My freshman year of high school, I participated in a club where I happened to meet this awesome soul. I couldn't have had asked for a better advisor. Her passion in teaching inspired not only me, but others as well in her class to succeed and pass her class. The teacher that won my heart when I first stepped into Worth County High School was no one other than Ms. Sonia Davis. Ms. Davis deserves the Golden Apple Award because she inspires students to learn and she genuinely cares for her students as individuals. She is always trying to make learning fun by coming up with different activities to do instead of just taking notes all the time. Thank you so much, Ms. Davis, for everything you have done for me. I will never be able to forget the memories we created together. Tanisha Patel. When I stepped foot into Worth County High, I had many crazy thoughts running through my mind. I didn't know how I was going to survive high school with those crazy, crazy rumors I heard in eighth grade. However, this woman held me down throughout and turned me into a confident lady that I am today. She is no other than Ms. Sonia Davis. It all began in ninth grade when I was in her business class where she encouraged me to join a PLA, which turned out, which turned out to be one of the best decisions I ever took. I will cherish those moments forever, especially those creating that state. I cannot forget all of us screaming and running around the hotel when you cracked the news of us advancing to the next level. Oh, and I definitely will not forget the year we met those basketball players. That was a once in a lifetime experience. I know I have troubled you a lot these past years and probably gave you a mini heart attack the year I disappeared at state, and I'm truly sorry for that. You're truly amazing and thank you for everything you have done for me. I promise it will not go to waste and I will become the person you inspired me to become. I love you, Miss Sonia Davis. Bailey Keith Salter. The reason that I chose Mr. A or the name calling him Seymour A, he made me want to learn Spanish and also made me enjoy it. I thought I was going to hate his class at first, but I really enjoyed it. He made Spanish enjoyable even though I was bad at it. I just had this special bond with him because he loves soccer and I do too. He enjoys watching it and I do too. I also played soccer for the high school. He came to some of our games and it meant a lot to me because he was like a friend to me even though he was one of my teachers. We always talked about soccer in his class. We always talked about the French national soccer team winning the World Cup and all games leading up to it. He used to call me one of his high flyers even though I couldn't hardly pronounce his name in Spanish. I'm glad I got in his class my 11th grade year because he made it one of the best years I've ever had. He's by far my favorite teacher of all time and I'm always going to remember so you're saying you should be joker. Joanna Nicole Smith. I'm giving it to Michelle Smith. Uh, if you go by times, she's uh, killed it overall. <laughs> Jordan Simone Smith. 
chose Ms. Alexis Davis to receive my golden apple. Ms. Davis was my 11th grade algebra 2 teacher and a great role model. She graduated from the University of Georgia and she worked hard to land her dream job. Ms. Davis understood me on so many levels. She seen my drive and my determination. She seen herself in me. She didn't give up on me even with no weak personality. She made class fun and interactive every day. Ms. Davis, do you remember the chance? We in Ms. Davis class, room 112, or pay up and get paid. It takes talent and a strong love for your job to make algebra fun. No matter how many wrong answers I would call out, she, she was patient with me. This is why I've chosen Ms. Alexis Davis to be my golden apple recipient. Timothy Ray Spragans Jr. Ever since I met Coach Simpson, he has pushed me to be my best on and off the field. He has inspired me to want to become a great coach and person like him. My freshman year was the only year I played soccer under Coach Simpson. My favorite memory is seeing his reaction after I scored the opening goal in the region championship game against Coach County. He has taught me to never give up and always strive for what I want. I see Coach Simpson as a mentor in my soccer career and that's why I chose him as my Golden Apple recipient. Blake Alexander Thornhill. I chose Misha Hewitt for my Golden Apple Award because he was always motivating me and teaching me to do my best. Zaylin Kyrie Timmons. I've chosen Kobe Simpson as my educator because of soccer. He coached me two years and I learned so much from him during those years about life in the game. He was like another father to me because he wasn't easy on me and that's what I like about him because he made me realize you can always go an extra mile if you give it your all in whatever you're doing. Shermore E. Touze. My golden apple is going to my mother. She's pretty much my first teacher and she's already, I mean, she's always inspired me to give my best no matter what I'm doing. She always pushes me to try hard, give 100% effort at everything. And most importantly, I think my mother taught me uh, never give up at anything that I'm doing. You know, growing up, there's a lot of times where I face challenges and I would want to give up, but she, she always told me to never give up. And so that's why I'm giving my golden apple to my mother. Riley Madison for Chrysler. Mr. Jones is my science teacher in sixth grade, and it feels like it's been so long since he last taught me, but he has made a lasting impact on me and who I am as a person. He was the first teacher who made me realize my potential and actively helped me reach it. Mr. Jones showed me the power of education and helped me realize the power that being educated gives you. I'm giving Mr. Jones my golden apple because he's the most passionate teacher I've ever had, and he actively helped his students succeed. Thank you for everything you have done for me and for so many of your other students. Haley Marie Badgelenti. Being a graduate this year is a hard challenge on all of us. All of the teachers and classmates we have grown to love don't get to give us a proper goodbye like we all hope and plan for. It. There are always people in the school system who leave such a big impact on you and your life that you will never forget. Miss Gwen Walker is my Golden Apple recipient. Miss Walker showed me to keep my head strong through the hard times in life and to keep my head up no matter what the circumstance is. No matter if I was sad, mad, and even sick in her class, she always knew how to keep me smiling and happy. She told me that she's very happy and proud of me and all my accomplishments I had made through the Worth County School System. She introduced me even more to the medical field through her amazing CNA class. I have always had love for the medical field itself. Miss Walker deepened it by showing me how much it meant to her. I will always keep in touch with my favorite teacher, and we both will keep each other on our toes forever. Much love to Miss Gwen. I wish nothing for the best for her because she deserves so much for in the love. I will miss you so much.
Morgan Ansley Walker. Words are powerless to express my gratitude. Miss Melissa Folsom, I proudly present you with my Golden Apple Award. This belongs to you for millions of reasons. I'm glad God led you to teach at Worth County Schools. He put you in the right place. You've impacted mine and many others' lives as a teacher. I always look forward to walking into your classroom. You always made your room a welcoming learning environment. There was never a dull moment in your classroom. You made the most difficult problems to me at the time easy to understand quickly. If everything could have gone my way, I would have had you as my teacher from pre-K up to the time now. You've always had that special glow about you that would light up any dark room. I appreciate you encouraging my efforts and making me strive to always do my best. Thank you for being the teacher that has touched my heart and has helped me provide me with generous amounts of knowledge to shape my future. With an active endearment, I'll always remember you. Lane Today, I want to take the time to recognize an outstanding educator. It was hard to choose just one because all of my teachers have made an impact on my life in one way or another. One teacher that really stood out to me through my high school experience was Mr. Octavius. I was terrified to take the Spanish class because I thought there was no way that I could ever pass it. However, throughout my two years of Spanish, Mr. A pushed me to try my hardest and really apply myself. He showed me that if I really want something, I can achieve it. Every day when I went into class, he encouraged me more and more. Mr. A is a French man who learned and is teaching Spanish to English-speaking students. Neither of the two languages that we hear him communicate through on a daily basis are his first language. I've always thought that was very intriguing. I will never forget all the things that Mr. A said to and about me. If I ever went into his class with anything less than a big smile, he made sure to try and put a smile on my face. Not only did Mr. A teach me a well-developed understanding of the Spanish language, but he also taught me many life lessons. He showed me that just by saying a few words, such as, have a nice day each day, can really make an impact on someone's life. I will always appreciate and be thankful for my two years spent with Mr. A. Gregory James Williams. When I first became a drum major, I was very scared, to be honest. Um, however, I wasn't really worried about all the technical aspects of conducting and everything like that. I was more worried about being a good leader. And I've been to many camps about leadership. I've seen a whole bunch of leaders all over the place, but the one leader that I knew I wanted to emulate was already here in Worth County. Um, this person, my teacher of choice, that the way they taught in class and their expectations for other people, it seemed like it was the right and best choice in order to lead. 
Um, this teacher also taught me how to form my own opinions through what they taught. And it's okay to not agree with other people, but you can respect them in the exact same way. Um, I want to thank this teacher for all those lessons that they taught me and the opportunities they've given me throughout my high school career by giving them this Golden Apple Award. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Zayana Sharia Wooden. Greetings, everyone. Firstly, congratulations to Class of 2020. It has been a long journey, but we made it. Congratulations to all honor grads. This is a special moment for not just us, but all graduates. I want to take this time to thank all my teachers throughout this four-year journey. Every single teacher that has taught me, I truly appreciate you because I took something from all of you whether you became my favorite or the teacher I prayed I never had again. The teacher I choose, the teacher I chose to give my golden apple to has truly left a mark on me for the rest of my life. The teacher who was patient with me, truly cared for me, wanted to see me succeed, and the teacher that believed in me no matter what is First Sergeant Heath on Hill. I thank you so much for inspiring me to love JROTC. You shaped my future in a positive way. Because of your influence, I am now enlisted in the United States Army. Thank you for the love and support. I, I know I can always count on you. To all my other teachers, remember, Yana will always love you. Thank you. Brianna Sue Zupko. I'm going to pin to Ms. Zupko because she's been a great teacher not only for the one class I've had her this year, but for my entire 